So we are finally back to the main timeline of One Piece. We finally get to see the main man himself, Law, going against Don Flamingo right now. And he's making sure that he exacts some revenge for Corazon right now. And it's like, I just loved in this chapter that everyone was doing their part in this chapter. Like, even like, even we had this law fight, which surprisingly enough, we didn't see any Luffy in this chapter. We saw like everyone was doing their part in the fights and all that. Like, you see like, Usopp's like there acting like some sort of commander and saying like, seeing like what everyone's doing. Because right now they still have like, Including Don Flamingo, they still have like 10 fights to go through. So you know, we got like the whole thing that's happening, you know. Like we have all these like people going in right now with like 10 fights going in. Like the only executive that's actually managed to get taken down from Don Flamingo's crew was Sugar. And she was the one just making the toys and stuff. And you see like, we still got the whole fight with like Pekka, Diamante. Got everyone like just fighting and going in right now. Although some of it was a little bit, you know, uh, I've already seen that before. And you know, fuck it. Call the fucking Tontadas up. I don't give a fuck about the princess. I honestly don't give no fucking rat shits about that. Like, cut, like, why did I have to see them running? We get it. They were running last time. But it was just absolutely pointless. But it's like when we see, like, Law fighting in and he just kept, uh, like, questioning Don Flamingo and all that. Did you know, you know, on the, that you're, uh, about, you know, your celestial dragon past? I know everything about that. You know, what do you think about the Will of D? And it's like Don Flamingo knows a lot of answers and stuff and like some maybe some questions and stuff I mean because he is a celestial dragon so obviously he does know some you know, like questions about that so it makes me wonder you know exactly just what exactly Don Flamingo is hiding I love gonna lie the slaves so far from what we've seen would look absolutely awesome though you saw that you know he was teleporting everywhere with his shambles and stuff like that he managed to like hit him with a sword like even like they're using that hockey and like when even like Don Flamingo went to slash him with his strings and stuff like that. You just see like half of like, the castle just fly off from like his screen. It was just looking absolutely crazy. And it's like, one thing that made me wonder is like, where was like Luffy at the time? Is he like fighting like treble or something like that? It made me wonder that like, this was just like a whole little chapter just dedicated to like Don Flamingo and Law. And it, it obviously makes sense why this one was dedicated ever since like the whole tragic past of what happened between him and Cortezon. So it kind of makes sense to that, but it's just like, Yo, know, where's Luffy in this? Everyone else got their little screen time in this little fight. I mean, hell, you see, like, everyone going in. But, I mean, yeah, a little bit of um, the story again for this matter. But still, yeah, no, it was a pretty cool chapter for the most part. But it was, like, the ending. When he pulled out that giant shot, like, the injection shot or something it was called, and he just pulled the trigger, and he's like, like, I'm going to have to pull the trigger for you now, Coruscant. You were too kind to do it on your brother. This time, it will be me. And I'm like, oh, man, fucking law right now. If anything, this arc has made me like law a hell lot more. Because I remember from the start, you know, this is a cool character and all that, but ever since, you know, he had that little issue with Punk has when he, like, cut off, like, a mountain off and that, showing his true strength, and then we get to see, you know, what he's doing against now, against Don Flamingo. I mean, he took, he took on Virgo, and he fucking made him look like a scrub, and now he's going against Don Flamingo right now. It's just this intense, crazy fight against him with, like, using all his strings and stuff, so... Hopefully you'll see we'll get more of this fight next week and all that. But otherwise, I did enjoy the chapter. Yeah, we did get a bit of a re recap of it. But I thought this was, you know, a really good chapter for the most part. A lot of stuff. And it just makes me wonder what exactly is Don Flamingo hiding? Like, it, exactly. Like, why is it like he really needs to tell? And not to mention as well, the whole thing that he was saying about, you know, that we need, still need to get cleared up. Why is everyone so feared of them? Yeah, he is a celestial dragon for the most part. But this legendary weapon that he's got as well. We need to see if he's ever even going to use it at this part. But that's all for me. Also, thank you very much for watching as always. I'm probably going to give this one 7. I'll probably give this one a 7, 7.5 out of 10. This was a pretty good chapter. I'd say more so than half because the bits of Don Flamingo were awesome. But then I guess as well, people are just going to have like issues with like all the recaps and stuff like that. But that's all for me. Also, thank you very much for watching as always. And I'll see you guys next time.